what up keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're taking a look at fixing fisheye. So if you're using a GoPro camera or just any sort of camera that's got a little bit of a fisheye lens, I'm going to show you how to fix it and get it looking straight, exactly like this one here. Hopefully, if it does help you, make sure you do like the video and also subscribe. There's a ton of content to help improve your streams on my YouTube channel, so definitely check some of that out, or come and ask me a question at twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy. Put your rock over the stone, let's go. So first things first, I have actually done this a little bit in a tutorial before about fisheye, which is just up there if you do want to check that out, but we need to go and get a couple of things installed. First thing we're looking for is the OBS shader filter uh, plugin that's on this website just here. All the links are in the description. We hit download. It'll take a couple of seconds to get downloaded. It's a WinZip file, so we're just going to head to my downloads folder. We'll see OBS shader filter, and inside there, you'll have an OBS studio folder. You want to copy these two data and plugins. Just copy them, and we're going to head to our OBS folder, which is in C drive usually, or program files, program files 86. You'll have to dig around if you've installed it somewhere else. OBS-Studio, and then we're just gonna paste them directly into there. I'm not gonna do that because I've already got it installed, ready to go. You'll know you've got that installed when you can go inside of OBS and you right click on any sort of source or scene and press filters. You'll be able to see on the effect filter, we press the plus user defined shader. If it's not there, it means you've in it, uh, installed it incorrectly and you need to try and install it again okay guys maybe check that you've put it in program files and maybe even check program files 86 once that's all done we need to get the other bit installed which is a shader filter that excel Draws made this is the the fisheye one so this link again is in the description we're just going to right click and press save as and save it as um, a all files and call it fisheye.shader Press save, and then to save you a bit of headache along the way, we're just going to go to the download folder and we're going to copy it. So you sh we should see it just here, the shader, we're going to hit copy, and then we're going to paste it in local drive, C drive, this is basically going to be the OBS folder we just were in, uh, OBS studio, and then data, then plugins, then OBS shader filter, examples, and we're just going to paste it directly into there. Again, mine's already in there, so I don't need to do that right now. So close that down once it's done. Head into OBS and find the source that you want to put this on. So I've got a video here from one of my good friends, Atomic Yin. Definitely go and check out his channel. He's an incredible streamer. Uh, uh, don't watch this, Babby. I don't know what he's saying. We're going to press filters. Uh, and uh, go to effect filters just here, the plus sign, and we're going to press user defined shader. Put this on, I'm going to call it fisheye fix, because you can see this this video here has got fisheye on it, and then we're going to press load shader from text file, and that is going to make the whole thing disappear. Don't be worried, don't be alarmed, it's just because it's wanting to put an effect on that it's not reading, so it just pulls it as blank. Hit browse. And it should automatically open you in the examples folder that we were in earlier. And then go down and find fisheye.shader. Just there. Open that up. And it should look overly, overly fisheyed. So we need to mess around with the uh, settings. If I set this to zero, it goes back to normal. It's still quite bulgy and, and fisheyed. But if you start using negative numbers. So if I do minus 0.5. See how that's, ki that's kind of started straightening up a little bit. I think I've gone a little bit too far. You can see the edges of this have kind of stretched in a little bit. So I can fiddle about with that. Maybe 0.2. I don't know. It still looks a little bit curved. 2.5 maybe. As you can see, just increasing the, the minus number here. I could do do something silly like um, not min minus 1. As you can see, that's far too much. You're getting that pinched effect now. So if I do 0. Point, I'm going to say 3. That looks about right to me, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And then obviously, because we've had to stretch the image and kind of squeeze it back in, uh, you're going to get these edges that look a little bit wrong. So all we need to do is zoom in a little bit on here, uh, hold down the shift to make sure it keeps the aspect ratio. 
We can right click again, transform, and center it to screen. Still a little bit more we need to go, so I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit more. Center to screen again, and there we go. We've got now a, uh, a fish-eyed video that is now straight. You can use that on webcams, so like I say, if you're using uh, a GoPro on your stream or something like that, this filter will fix that kind of natural uh, fish-eyed look that he's got. But like I say, go and check out Atomic Gin. His links are going to be in the description below. Let him know that you've um, s I've sent you from my channel, and he'll give you extra love because he's a cool guy like that. Even though he's telling me not to watch, don't don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. So hopefully that has helped you out, guys. It's a cool little feature that not many people know is there and it wouldn't be possible if Exceldro didn't make the incredible shader so big thanks to him again but hopefully you've enjoyed it make sure you like the video and also subscribe because there's tons of content I say this every time when we get to 10,000 subscribers I am going to be doing a special YouTube stream that's going to be like a big how to people going to ask any questions I'm going to be able to answer it for you and kind of just go in depth I don't know what I'm going to call it yet it's going to be like a um uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah. Oh, bloody hell, what's it called? When you go to the doctor, to clinic. Just like going to clinic. That's the one, bloody hell. Right, enough of me talking. Hopefully, I've helped you. Put your rock over the stone. I'll see you next time.